Hey everybody. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I've done and I'm still kind of waiting on the time. I mixed equal parts A and B of Artist Resin Counterculture, which is the thickest viscosity besides Fast Set. It's the regular resin, artist resin, that you have at least 35, 40 minutes or so to work with. And right now I'm at 26 minutes after mixing for six minutes. And I'm going to try something from the acrylic pouring world. And it probably will not work, but I'm still curious to see what will happen using resin. And it's going to be kind of like a puddle pour, but I am going to use a sink strainer that has little slots and the colors are going to go through the slots. And it makes a really pretty effect in the acrylic pouring world. Not so sure what it will do in the resin world, but I wanted to give it a try. I figure even if it's a fail, you can always make, the, make something pretty from whatever you are attempting to do. So I've got six cups here of about two and a half ounces each, so that's about 13 or 14 ounces, and then the rest of my resin in here is clear. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this into my mold. This is a 13 inch mold. I absolutely love it. One of my favorites because it can be a tray. It can also be formed into a bowl. And because this is the thicker artist resin, it takes more than four to five hours to let it get firm enough to manipulate in a, into a shape. I usually use medium viscosity and that happens quicker. It's not as thick, but it kind of sets up quicker and you can start manipulating it into a shape at around four hours or so. With Artist Resin Regular, which is the thicker viscosity, it takes longer. So you have to be more patient. That's why I like the medium viscosity is because I'm not a patient girl. I'm just putting my clear resin in first. I was going to pour the colors in straight into the mold and I thought now I better put the clear in first because I want the pattern to spread as evenly as possible because I want it to um, <clears throat> be as perfectly flat as possible. I did use a level and so like I can tell right now this end needs to come up a bit so I'm going to put a stick under here on this end. It's always important to be level. So I think that's fairly level. But I'm going to watch. I can go ahead and heat this and get the bubbles out. I'm just going to try to spread it out a little bit. So I'm at 33 minutes right now. So like if this were medium viscosity, it would be really kind of getting really set up. So I don't, I don't want to wait too much longer. I'm going to go ahead and heat this one more time. You never want to overheat your really good molds because they are expensive. These kind that are usually colored and super thick. They're not like your cheap Amazon molds. So you want to treat them with love. Okay, so it's still pulling apart some gaps, but I think as I add my colors, it'll kind of stop. <laughs> Hopefully. 
I'm going to check to see if it's level one more time. I also have it on a canvas panel, so it just gives it a little more strength. My table is not always like super level, so it it's probably going to shift on me. And I'm going to try to avoid it, but kind of unavoidable. So when I set this in, I've got one shot. I can move it around. I'm going to look and just see that I think that it's centered. And then I can look through my camera to see if I need to adjust it. I think that's fairly centered. Okay. So I'm going to start adding the resin. I'm going to do about half of it. So yeah, it's doing something different from what it would if you were acrylic pouring. So we're just going to roll with it anyway. It is resin, so it kind of wants to probably blend, which is fine. It'll be fun just to see what happens. coming out but it's blending out here which I kind of knew it would but I still wanted to do it it's still pretty it is going that way, but hopefully it'll kind of stay. And then I'm going to put this little gold bit in the middle. So real quick, I used, again, Artist Resin, which is the thick viscosity of counterculture. And I used these mica powders, School Bus, Tropicana, Wild Fuchsia, Amethyst, Oceanic Blue, and Navajo. And those are all from Etsy Funshine Color Shop. I love, love, love her micas. 
and I use Bombay inks the appropriate colors of Bombay inks they don't have purple so I put magenta and blue together and they had teal which I put into the greenish blue color but I did add a little bit of green because I want that to feel a little different from the blue I think I did a pretty good job and it's kind of staying at least in that rainbow effect coloration which is fabulous so overall I'm happy I don't have the mold filled all the way up I will have the option to make a bowl from it when it gets to a point where I can touch it but with it being medium viscosity I don't know that I will because um, you have to wait longer with medium viscosity and if it's still tacky you know you can make it you can kind of ruin the beauty of it by it sticking and that kind of thing so we'll just kind of have to wait and see overall I'm very pleased just getting semi results well alcohol for last minute bubbles and then I'm going to cover it make sure it's not touching any resin and we are good and I'll be back probably in about six hours to check it and to see if I can touch it so I'll be back okay it's been probably about five hours I did touch it I'm gonna put gloves on just so that I don't get fingerprints <coughs> on it again this is the thicker viscosity the artist resin not the medium which I'm typically used to using so And I poured it pretty thick as you can see there it's a good quarter inch thick or so so there's the bottom which is really pretty but that's what I want to see so I am gonna form it into a bowl I've got to heat it and then push it down and get it right, kind of right off the get-go. This is my hippie bowl. <laughs> um, and also, what I noticed is it's not super shiny it's because the uh, the resin had little micro bubbles in it I think or maybe it's just the shimmer of the mica powder but um, I don't I'm not mad at it okay so I'm gonna let this sit overnight and set up and then we'll check it tomorrow So the great thing about shiny plastic bowls is nothing sticks to it. That's important. Don't get a bowl that is um, like a matte finish. It may pick up on your resin as matte or it may not pull out as easy. So just make sure to get a slick bowl. And here is the finished piece. So like I said, it has like little tiny micro bubbles. So what I may do is, I may leave it this way, and I may coat it with, say a fast set. I've got some fast set resin coming. So I may coat it just to give it that glossy shine and do it like right before the resin sets up and that'll give it that nice glossy finish but because it's already formed and it's angled if you put regular resin it would just pour down to the bottom 
so I'll probably use the fast set. It's heat resistant and all that other good stuff just like any of these other resins are. Then I do have the edge which is just kind of blue. So I'm trying to decide if I want to put a gold edge or something. I wish the colors had really come out vibrant and I think the clear coat will make them look more vibrant again. So there it is. I'll show pictures when I'm totally finished out in the sunshine. Also wanted to show you this is a plastic or silicone sink strainer. So the cool part about this is you can peel the resin off and use it again if you need to. Thank you.